I'm Shannon Morse here from the Snubs Report and today I wanted to give you an overview of the Sailor Moon store and I also wanted to show you my gigantic Sailor Moon haul that I got while I was in Japan back in November. First off, I'm going to tell you about the Sailor Moon store. I will show you an entire walkthrough of the whole Sailor Moon store while I was in Japan and then I will go over the haul. So first off, let's talk about the Sailor Moon store. So you can find it, there is only one, it is permanent it and it's over in Harajuku in Tokyo, Japan and you can find it over over at the La Forret store. It's on the second to bottom most floor of the La Forret store so you just go down one flight of stairs and then you walk around in a circle and eventually you will find it. There's two different sections. There's a premium section which is where you can find bags and jewelry and stuff like that and clothing and then the other section has all of the other little trinkets that you can find. The Sailor Moon store also carries a whole bunch of products that you you can only find at the Sailor Moon store so keep an eye out for those and sometimes they change them periodically. They also have a lot of seasonal items so you won't find the same things in stock every single time that you go which is great for me because next time I go to Tokyo I'm totally gonna go back there. I also wanted to mention on Google Maps you'll see a bunch of terrible reviews of the Sailor Moon store so I ended up putting up my own five-star review because I was really unhappy with those reviews. The reason why is because I went there and I thought they were all false. Everybody was like, they're out of stock of everything, and it's a terrible store, it's super small. Yes, it is small, but they were fully stocked on everything that I was hoping to get while I was there, so I wasn't upset at all. I will also say pro tip, if you plan to go to the Sailor Moon store, make sure you hit up their Twitter first, it's at Sailor Moon store, and you can find out which items are going to be in stock, and you will also find out ahead of time which items are sold out. Of course, you have to use the translate option on Twitter to find out which which items are sold out, but for the most part, it was able to translate correctly, so I, I knew ahead of time exactly what I was going to get. Lastly, I also wanted to mention, you can get these, so make sure to ask for one of these. These are point cards. You can get either 300 yen off, 1,000 yen off, or 2,000 yen off, which is about uh, three bucks, 10 bucks, or 20 bucks, depending on how much you spend. So the first time you go in there and you spend some money, they will mark off a certain amount of these little stars. The next time you come in, you show this to them, and if you have gotten to the point where you can th get 300, 1,000, or 2,000 yen off, they will take that off of your full price, and then you save some money, which is wonderful. Okay, so now that you have an overview of the Sailor Moon store, let's go ahead and check out the walkthrough.
Okay, so now that you have seen a walkthrough of the Sailor Moon store and you know all about it, I will now show you my Japan Sailor Moon haul from November, and I am so excited to show you all the things, so let's get right into it. The first being this Artemis hoodie, which I got at the Sailor Moon store. It's got a really cute crescent moon, which is embossed on there, and it is very warm, so I was really happy with this purchase. Except it's incredibly hot, so I'm just going to take off that hood for now. The next item I wanted to show you is is this necklace and it is a little Luna and Artemis pearl set with I want to say Swarovski crystals maybe and a moonstone in the middle something maybe they're glass I don't know but I know that it's gorgeous it's really really pretty and I've been wearing it every single day since I got it uh, it's a great birthday present so congratulations husband you did good the first trinkety items that I want to show you are these keychains so I actually got a princess serenity keychain and also a Sailor Moon keychain, which is currently on my purse. Both of these are from the Sailor Moon store. Both of them are exclusive to the Sailor Moon store and they both come with matching postcards. After that, I actually picked these next items up the second time I went to the Sailor Moon store because I was there for two weeks. So I went the first weekend and the next weekend. Don't judge me. I got these cute little tea sets. So this is basically a bunch of loose leaf tea, which is fitted inside this really cute casing. I thought it was adorable, so of course I had to buy it, but it also smells really good. So I'm hoping that the tea smells good as well. I got the orange and marigold tea, which has Sailor Mars and Venus on it. And I also got the apple and hibiscus tea, which has Sailor Moon on it. So I'm not sure how many packs are in here or how to make it. I'm assuming it's just like any other tea, so I'll let you know how it tastes. If you want to know, if you want me to like review the taste of these, let me know in the comments below. <laughs> this little heart compact is actually a blush, or at least I'm going to say it's a blush. It's a very light blush whenever I swatched it and it's got a little bit of sparkles in it. So it's perfect for a paler complexion, which is perfect for me. Uh, it's plastic. It feels pretty cheap, but the blush is a really nice, pretty color. And I also like the front of it, how detailed it is and how sparkly it is. Although I did notice the red area really, really picks up prints. So if you put your fingers on it, you can like totally get your fingerprints all over it. So that's kind of a bummer, but it is very pretty even though it is plasticky. Oh, and if you're wondering, I actually got this at the Mandrake store or Mandrake, however you want to say it, over in uh, Akihabara. The next several items are also from the Sailor Moon store. Uh, the first one right here is the Sailor Moon 20th anniversary tribute album. So this has a bunch of the original music on it. A bunch of the songs on here I already recognize because they're written in English like La Soldier, Heart Moving. So there's a bunch of really good songs on here. And these two are background music from Sailor Moon Crystal. I haven't listened to these two yet, but I'm really excited to because they look amazing. And I really like the background music from Sailor Moon. So I'm sure I'm going to enjoy those. I already have like 400 songs from Sailor Moon uh, as mp3s on my computer so I'm sure that those will be a very lovely addition to my hundreds of songs that I have gotten from Sailor Moon over time from the 90s. These are candies. These are called sugar stars. At least that's what I like to call them. You can find them at the Sailor Moon store. There were tons of them when I went and they come in a variety of colors. There's the pink ones and the white ones for Princess Serenity or Sailor Moon. The Sailor Moon store also had a couple of these to choose from. There were these and then Princess Serenity ones, which were like milk flavored or something. These are strawberry flavored hard candies. As you can see, strawberry flavored. Uh, the hard candies taste delicious. I have already gotten into them, as you can see, and they are really, really yummy. So I was really happy with these, and I'll definitely keep these and put something in them. I don't know. Maybe I'll wash it out and put Q-tips in this jar or something. I think that would be really cute. If you guys have ideas, by the way, on how I can reuse these jars and things, let me know, because I don't want to throw them away or recycle them. I want to keep them and use them for something else. So what can I put in here after I eat all of those little sugar star candies? Let me know in the comments. These are both 3D stickers from Sailor Moon. Uh, uniform that you see her wear in every single episode. So I figured that both of these would look really, really cute on the front of my laptop. This, of course, is a Sailor Moon sticker and it's a little sticker sheet with a couple of other little stickers on it. I also got these two masks. So these are character beauty masks for women. I have no clue what they are supposed to do as far as being beautiful or whatever and what they smell like because they usually are scented or they have some kind of lotion or and moisture 
moisturizer kind of built into them. But these work just like any other face mask. So these are character masks, which means when you put them on, you look like either Sailor Moon or Luna. I ended up getting these at, I believe, the It's Demo store, but uh, don't quote me on that. I'm pretty sure it was at It's Demo. Another Sailor Moon store purchase. I live in Northern California. We have a lot of fires. It makes my throat hurt whenever there's smoke in the sky. So I bought these face masks. That's my excuse. I'm sticking with it. The next few are beauty products from the Sailor Moon store. First, we have a gift uh, set that I bought at the Sailor Moon store. So it came with this cute little hand towel, which is adorable and very useful if you travel to Japan because a lot of the toilets there do not have hand towels to wash your hands with and dry them off. It also came with a lip balm. This is a lip balm and it's just regular lip balm. Doesn't smell like anything special, so just regular lip balm. And the other one is a hand cream. This is a hand cream. So this one smells, smells kind of floral. So that'll probably be nice to use, especially in the winter time. So I'm really happy that I got these. They are so cute. And I also got some other hand creams. So I got this hand cream set. All three of these smell really, really good. Can't wait to use those. And I got a UV gel. It's a 32 SPF gel that you can use. I'm not sure if this is for hand or body. I guess I'll have to figure that out. So these next items I got from the Mandrake store in Akihabara, or Mandrake if you want to call it that, um, I didn't know what I was expecting. I thought I was going to get some really nice fashionable pens. It turns out they expand and they expand really far and I thought they were very pretty. I really like the designs on them. They're just like the wands from the different characters. So I got Sailor Saturn, Pluto, Chibiusa, and Sailor Moon, of course. All right, we're almost done, and I've got a few little gachapons that I was able to find in Osaka, I believe, but these are really cute. They were 300 yen each, and I was really, really happy with how they look, so I ended up getting two of them, and I'm glad I got different ones. I love Sailor Mars. She's my favorite inner senshi, so I was really happy that I got her. Sailor Venus, she's cool, but I would have really preferred to get Sailor Moon, so if anybody wants to trade, let me know. When I was in Tokyo, we also stopped by Nakano Broadway, which I gotta say is probably better than Akihabara for finding old school Sailor Moon items. Just gonna put that out there. But I found a few different uh, really cute other gachapons, which I ended up buying um, straight forward instead of doing the secret gachapon, that whole game. So I ended up getting a Sailor Saturn, which I thought was really, really pretty, and her hair looks really gorgeous, so I was really happy with her. And then I also got a Luna, a human Luna, which is supposed to be able to hang off items, so she looks really, really cute. Can't wait to open up her and put them on display somewhere. Also in Nakano Broadway, I found this great clear file, which I thought would be perfect for tax season. So I'll be able to put all of my tax documents in here and then give them to my tax person. And next, I got a series of hand towels. These are also from the Sailor Moon store. Uh, this first one is huge and there's a whole series of them. There's a hand towel, a face towel, and then this much larger towel, which I guess you use in your bathroom somehow. I don't know, it'd be great for my hair actually. So maybe I'll use it for that, or maybe I'll put it on display somewhere, maybe on my nightstand, I don't know yet. But these are cute, um, they're all from It's Demo, and they go all together. They have cute little snowflakes all over them, and the Outer Senshi, which I thought was awesome because it's hard to find Outer Senshi stuff. This one has Sailor Uranus and Neptune on it, and they are so pretty together. And the last one is my fave, my fave of fave. This one is kind of a purplish color, so it matches my hair, but I love that it has all of the outer senshi and also Sailor Moon and Chibiusa on it. It's really, really pretty. Okay, so moving on back to the Sailor Moon store, we have a couple of wallets. So these are the Samantha Thavasa wallets that you could find at, I believe they had them at Isetan or Isetan, the department store in Tokyo. So these are the first ones. This is a Luna and Artemis one, which is black just like Luna. And it's got a couple of little zip pockets on it. I love the interior, how it has a Luna and Artemis print. The front zipper is fake, but it does have the really cute keychain hanging from it. And then the inside is perfect for big bills and you can also stick a couple of IDs or credit cards in there. So this is really good for if you wanna go light one 
one day, ladies. The second one is the Sailor Moon uh, full-size wallet that came out with the Samantha Thavasa collab. I was really happy with this one as well. I love the pink detailing around the sewn areas of it. It's very, very pretty. The keychain on the front is gorgeous. It has a little bow on it, just like Sailor Moon's uniform. And the inside has a print that has a bunch of these Sailor, Sailor Scouts um, signs on it. So it's really cute as well. That's about it for the wallets. If you hear my cat, she's meowing in the background. She wants my husband's attention. She always does. But I also wanted to show you this really cool charm that I got from the Samantha Thavasa collection. Uh, it, it is an S for Snubs or Shannon, which I thought was perfect. The Sailor Moon store did not have all of the alphabet in stock, so I was really happy that they had an S and I bought it immediately. All right, so these two clutches are unbranded. I don't know if they are Samantha Thavasa or if they are Samantha Vega. I have no clue, but these two are very pretty as well. They were about 7,800 yen, I believe, but um, there's a Luna one and an Artemis one, and both of them have the same print on the interior, but uh, they have a zipper pocket. There's plenty of space for a small cell phone. I can fit my Google Pixel 2 XL in here, so I know that you could probably fit it our larger iPhone 2. Both of them come with a nice little clutch handle, and both of them come with this nice strap that you can fit around your shoulders too. So I really like the detailing on these, and I love the ears. I think they are so cute, and I could totally wear the Artemis clutch along with my hoodie out somewhere. Next, we have the Samantha Vega Sailor Moon collab purses, and I love this purse line so much and this is the first time I've been able to get my hands on the Sailor Moon purses in person. I ended up buying the last ones available for a couple of these styles while I was there so I was so happy that I went there on my birthday which just so happened to be the day that they released that Luna and Artemis clutch as well. The first purse that uh, my husband actually purchased is for my friend. So it is white, it is gorgeous, I love it, but we are going to give this one to my friend. I believe her husband's going to give it to her for Christmas, so I hope she loves it. But in the meantime, I'm totally taking advantage of having it in my household and including it in the Sailor Moon haul since, well, we did buy it from Japan. But this one has a really, really cute keychain on the front from Sailor Moon. It also has a gorgeous print on the inside. It has a little zipper pocket, which is actually real. <laughs> and it comes with a full shoulder strap, so you don't have to wear it on your wrist if you don't have to. The next one I got is this red Sailor Moon Samantha Vega uh, collab purse, and I love the red color. I think it's great for the holidays, so I had to purchase it pretty much immediately. They had a few other colors to choose from, which you saw in the little watch through but this was the one that I definitely wanted to get my hands on. It was originally a collab that you could buy over at Isaton which you can tell from the little tag that's included on it but I love 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 the print that's on the inside. It's really really nice and detailed. The quality is pro so this thing looks great and it also has this adorable crescent moon wand on the front which makes it so obviously Sailor Moon. This next one is my Samantha Vega Sailor Moon collab purse that comes in a pretty pink color so I just had to get it as well. I included the keychain myself. The keychain is not Sailor Moon. However, this acrylic Sailor Moon keychain came from the Sailor Moon store. It's one of the exclusives that you can get. I love the fact that this Samantha Vega purse has the brooch on the front and then it also has a really cute blue print on the inside. Also top quality. It comes with the little hand straps and a shoulder strap too. All right, we're almost done. I also got a couple of tote bags. This first one is from my friend El Quintana who got this for me for my birthday. Thank you, El Quintaro. I love this. Can't wait to use it. Super useful if you live in California and you can't use reusable plastic bags. You have to bring your own reusable tote bags instead. And then I got this one from the Sailor Moon store. I really think that they should just give these away if you purchase something at the Sailor Moon store. Instead, you have to buy it. So I did end up getting one. I've been using it a lot. It's really nice and thick and it's really great for like going grocery shopping and stuff like that. Okay, yes, I am almost done. Back to Nakano Broadway. I also found two Sailor Moon cells. So this first anime cell is, is of Usa and she's in this really cute little maid outfit, which I thought was super adorable. I don't remember the episode that this is from, but I remember the face. I remember the costume. I just don't remember the episode, so I need to go back and watch it, but I thought it was really cute. I also 
found another Sailor Moon cell. So pro tip, go to Nakano Broadway and don't just go to Mandrake, go to some of the other anime cell stores because some of the smaller merchants will have better cells. And this one is amazing. I found this cell, don't ask me how much I paid for it. It was a lot, but I'm going to get this one framed because it was gorgeous. It's got Chibiusa on the front of it along with Diana. So it's from one of the later seasons and it also includes the background, which is great. It's so pretty. I love it so much. I also think it's really interesting because you can see all of the layers and it's so thick. Like her eyes are painted on a different layer. Diana's painted on a different layer than her hair. It's just so pretty and it's all separated from the background. So it would make a beautiful framed shadow box if I decided to do that. I'm still trying to determine where I should get the framing done because I'm not sure who would do the best job with it. So the last thing that I wanted to show you today is from at home, actually. I'm a part of the um, Sailor Moon official fan club overseas, the international fan club, if you will. So I received my little Sailor Moon membership card, which I thought was super cute. I also received this really pretty necklace. It's actually kind of long for me, so I don't know. I might get it shortened if it's worth it. It's plasticky. So it's not worth a lot of money or anything, but it's a really, really pretty necklace. I really liked it actually. And I received this really cute vintage Sailor Moon inspired stationery. So it comes with stickers, it comes with letter envelopes and the little letter paper. Although I will never, I'm never gonna write anything on these. I'm just going to keep it and never use it because I'm weird and crazy. Okay, I'm finally done. I'm finally done showing you all of the Sailor Moon haul. That was a lot of stuff. I have been keeping all of this in a bag waiting until I had time to film this Sailor Moon haul video for you. So glad I was able to finally get it done. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you loved seeing the Sailor Moon store. I know I did. It was like a dream come true for me because ever since I was a little kid, I've always, always wanted a permanent Sailor Moon store that I could go to and it would just be filled with Sailor Moon memorabilia, art, purses, makeup, whatever it might be and I finally have that available to me even though it's overseas but I'm just really grateful that I was able to go I mean finally I would not have been able to do that five years ago so I'm really happy that I was able to afford to get there and put a bunch of stuff on my credit card. Let me know what you would purchase if you got a chance to go to the Sailor Moon store, what you would love to see there, and if there's any permanent store for an anime that you wish was a real thing, what would it be? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this, make sure to like it and make sure to subscribe if you've never been to this channel before. I do a lot of Japan videos from my most recent trip, so I have a ton to show you. Again, my name is Shannon Morse, and thank you so much for watching. I know this was a long one. Really appreciate you sticking around. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.